Hello folks, time for another video in the shave. Alrighty, well, going with a soap today that uh, haven't been used in a very long time. My fault because, I don't know, you always chase that soap dragon. I don't know what the story is, but using some stubble buster today called Game. Now, when I originally bought this Double Buster, I got it off of the Chisel Face Groomatorium. Um, and they also used to sell for Amazon. And this used to be like $8.99. Now, I don't know what happened, but it's on its own website now. I don't know if it's still associated with uh, Chisel Face. I thought they were the same manufacturer, but I don't know anymore. I know they moved to Ohio, but I don't know. Anyway... You'll see the set notes on top. It's Tangerine, Sequoia, and Sage. I get a nice Tangerine vibe out of this. Definitely followed up by the Sage. And what I always loved about these containers is that they fit inside there. So if you are a lather up in the container, it's easy to keep it down. You can see there. I could actually see the bottom of the container there. I bought this soap many, many years ago, and it's still in great shape. Still has great scent. It's still nice and soft. Very good. Yeah, and I also, like I said, when I bought the soap, it was only $8.99. It was like the best value out there. And and it's for four ounces. See, it says right there, four ounces. And now I checked it's um $19.99. And I have like, I think, five cents from this brand. And this is the only one that they seem to still make. They make other ones now, but the f other four I have, they don't make. I don't know. I never picked up the splash for this, so I have something else to use at the end of the shave. Anyway, using the NV Shave 8-Ball today. NV Shaves. The 8-Ball with that tuxedo synthetic knot. And I whipped that all up in the Captain's Choice Bowl because it just matches nice the knot size there. And we are using the Mercure 38C. I almost said the 39C. That's the same head as the 34C. Just with a longer barber pole handle, which I love. And of course, you probably guessed the blade already because I am just hell-bent on these blades. The Persona Preps. And I also picked up another box. Even though this one is still kind of full. Alright. Now, the ingredients on this soap, I think, is right there on the bottom. Yes, it is. Even though it is tiny for me to see. Let's see if my camera can pick it up for you guys. Yes, I was a big fan of Chisel Face. I still am a fan. I just haven't used it because, you know... Chasing down the other artisans because I got the YouTube channel. Oh, and speaking of the YouTube channel, I don't know what's going on, but my subscriber whew, shot through the roof, but now it's been going down. So I don't know. I, I'm over my thousand mark, which I want to hit, but I was well over a thousand. I was like at like 1215, I think. But when I checked right before I shot the video, I'm down to a thousand and something. So I don't know if it's just those magical. YouTube bots attacking my channel. I don't know, but we'll see. If we hold that 1,000, I will definitely have a giveaway in the upcoming videos. So we'll see if we stay. I'll give it about a week or two to see if my subscriber count... Wow, the washing machine is loud today. See if my subscriber count stays up there. I'm just looking at my volume meter because that water is very loud. Alrighty, so let's wet the face. Yeah, so Stubble Buster. I remember running across Stubble Buster when I was buying some chisel face soaps, which I need to do some more chisel face soap videos because I do love chisel face. They're very affordable. I actually haven't checked on the price of chisel face yet. And like I said, I don't know if they were affiliated with Stubble Buster, but I believe the addresses used to be the same. I don't know. But well, we're going with the Stubble Buster game today. I remember when I first bought the soap, I was like, ooh, tangerine. I thought it was going to be very citrusy, but it's like mild citrus and kind of 
on the sage in this stick or spectrum. It's a nice sunny day here in New Jersey. Yeah, so what happened was while it was raining and nasty out, I was just going through my soaps and and I ran across all my chisel face and stubble buster soaps and I was like, hey, I haven't used these in a while. And then when I went to check my YouTube channel, that's when I noticed all these subscribers. And I was like, whoa, I, I was getting a lot of emails for new subscribers, but they were like from like Russia, and China, which is fine, but they were kind of weird names. So I don't know what's going on. I have been getting emails that I have subscribers new subscribers so not 100% sure like I said what's going on with that so I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch in case this is just some kind of weird YouTube glitch Mikir 38C barber pole handle persona prep blade nice Yes, yeah, so I was shocked. I woke up the other morning and I was like, hey, what is up with this? About, I had about 100 emails, you know, from YouTube. They send you an email when you get a new subscriber. And I was like, wow, what's going on? But they were all like funky names. So, I don't know. We'll see. I can hear my hot water heater, which is on the other side of this wall, really firing up today for some reason. My, my wife was doing laundry, so that's probably why. And since we have a new hot water heater, it sounds like a jet engine. It is gas fired, so. You hear that flame come on. Woo. And today is Friday. I will post this today, even though it is a little after noon right now, but I got a late start today. Oh, I almost caught my lip. Actually, I hope I didn't catch it because it felt like I did. That's what happens when I'm BSing here and not paying attention. I'm hoping I just caught the corner of my mouth with the, just the edge of the safety bar. I don't see any blood though, yet. It's weird because I'm on blood thinners and when I do cut myself shaving, it takes forever to show up. Which is kind of weird. I figured it would come blasting out sometimes. Yeah, so this whole YouTube thing has got me a little miffed. I mean, yeah, I wanted to reach a thousand subscribers. That was one of my goals, but not like within two days. I didn't do anything special. It's not like I posted my videos on any kind of other social media. I go to the usual place, you know, Facebook, Instagram, and that's it. And of course YouTube, but I don't know. Jeez, that's a loud vehicle outside. The downsides to living on a corner. <laughs> wow, that's good. Yeah, I guess I haven't used Stubble Buster and I think my last video on Stubble Buster was maybe two to three years ago. So I said, you know what? Let me break out the Stubble Buster. And then when I went to post the links on my video I was like wow my old links didn't work because my old links would take you to the groomatorium website and there's no longer stubble buster on there there's still chisel face and other soaps but no stubble buster and what really attracted me in the beginning with stubble buster was that it was so inexpensive like I said it was like $8.99 for four ounces I was like and it's really good I mean you know I thought it was just as good as the chisel face. 
base, which it probably was, but I don't know. I really don't get into it that deep. Alrighty. Make here 38C with the Persona prep blade. Nice. Wow, my freaking legs still sore after the other day. And I'm standing on this really thick. I don't want to call it a bath mat because the bath mat's actually behind me. But it's like, I don't know, the rug that matches the bath mat in front of the sink. My wife got a new one and it's like extra thick and it kind of makes my feet hang up in it. Now, like I said, when I first put this soap on my face, I get the tangerine, but then the sage seems to hang around more than the tangerine does. Wow, that's nice. And the soap is very slick, even after all these years. Hope it doesn't burn. Oh yeah, it's very slick. Very slick. Yeah, so finally the sun's out. That's what I can see through my skylight in my window today. It's been just nasty and rainy the last basic week. Alrighty. Let me just do a quick little wipe on my counter because I did get water everywhere while I was making my lather. Oh yeah. That is slick. I'm trying to actually kind of dissipate the slickness there, but. All right, let's empty good old Sigmund the Sea Monster sink. And we'll throw in some cold water while we're at it. Oh, it's still nice and cold. All righty. I actually messaged Lancaster Razorworks the other day about the towel drop, but... No reply yet, so we'll see what happens if they're going to have this drop. I saw some posts about brushes, but nothing about towels. And in, in the beginning of the month or December, they mentioned about it dropping in January, but maybe I misread that. I don't know, because people have been messaging me like, hey, when's Lancaster going to release some more towels? And I have no clue. It's not like I was ever... Sponsored by them or anything. I just bought a towel like everyone else. So yeah, that was the Lancaster towel. Magical drop unknown. And we'll recap this shave. That was Stubble Buster. And down below in the description, I put the link for the Stubble Buster website. Like I said originally... I got this at Groomatorium, the Chill Face Groomatorium. So this was Game by Stubble Buster. Good scent. Tangerine, Sequoia, and Sage. I get a lot of the tangerine. Not a lot of the tangerine, but tangerine and the sage. I'm not sure what Sequoia smells like. But it's a nice scent. If I can close the container. And we used the Mercure 38C bar up pole handle. Nice. And the Envy Shaves 8 Ball. I really like the coin on this one. It's kind of cool no matter which way you turn it. It comes out the same way. And that was whipped up in the Captain's Choice Sandstorm Bowl. 
Alrighty. Oh yeah, and Blade was the Persona Prep Blade, which you know it's been my blade lately. So wow, it feels good. Feels good. Now I don't have the matching splash, even though they do make a splash for this. But when I don't have a splash, I kind of gravitate to good old Barbado, made in Georgia. And this will wake your butt up with the alcohol sting. Mm. Now, when I first put it on, I really get hit with that alcohol blast. Like, kind of reminds me of Everclear. <laughs> but the dry down in this is kind of citrusy a little bit. A little citrusy action. Nice. But I'll tell you what, it definitely feels good on the skin. Almost kind of feels like a combination of an alk of a aftershave splash. And a little bit of a bomb. Not that it leaves your skin oily, but it does feel like there's a nice moisturizing capability here. That's why they call it the moisturizing bump therapy, I guess. And it's made right here. or well, not right here, but in the good state of Georgia in the United States. All right, folks. So if you enjoyed today's Stubble Buster Game Shave, thumbs up. And please subscribe, even though my subscriber count is going up and down and up and down and doing all kind of crazy stuff hopefully we'll hold at this uh thousand mark and we'll have a good giveaway in the next couple of videos we'll figure that out with the see how it goes with the count but still subscribe please still subscribe because i don't know if these are fake subscriptions or what's going on so until next shave stay safe and glenn signing off